Unquestionably, the weapon systems of a combat aircraft are one of the most crucial factors determining its capability. In this regard, with its superior features, the Meteor air-to-air -air missile has the potential that can change the balance in modern aerial warfare. These days, when the Second Cold War is rising, comparing the fighters with each other would be incomplete without considering this missile. As the weapon detective, we are investigating the Meteor, the next step of the air-to-air -air missile's evolution. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel before we start and give us a thumbs up if you like our video. To be notified of our new video, please click the bell button. The Meteor is preparing to protect the airspace of the leading European countries. Also, many Eurofighter Typhoon, Rafale, and Gripen users all around the world have already ordered the missile. The others are seriously considering it. The reason for this popularity is that the Meteor is one of the systems that best answer to modern aerial warfare requirements. If we take a brief look at its development process, the Meteor was born to meet the Royal Air Force's requirement for a long-range air-to-air missile to replace the Skyflash missile in the early 1990s. The new missile had to have enhanced kinematics, which will provide it with sufficient energy to chase and destroy a target with the ability to highly agile maneuvering in long distance. The other requirements were stealthy launching future, being highly resistant against countermeasures, and fire and forget ability, which brings the attacking capability to multiple targets simultaneously too. The development story of the Meteor was very similar to other European weapon system programs. Like many other projects, the UK established various partnerships with other European countries. These partnerships were constantly broken for economic, political and technical reasons and were re-established. We will not mention these details in this video. In short, at the end, the missile called the Meteor has become a joint project of France, Germany, Italy, Spain, Sweden and the UK. MBDA became the main contractor in the program. Despite all problems, an extraordinary missile emerged. On May 9, 2006, a JAS 39 Gripen conducted the first air launch trial. The launch was successful, but the missile failed to transition to the sustained phase of flight. The investigation showed that there was a timing issue in the gas generator valve control unit software. After necessary modification, the second air launch trial took place on May 20, 2006. This time, the Meteor was completely successful. On April 28, 2015, Rafael conducted the first guided launch trial of the missile against an aerial target. One year later, the Meteor entered the service of the Swedish Air Force. The active radar-guided Meteor has a high-explosive blast fragmentation warhead with a proximity impact fuse. Its maximum effective range is over 100 km. The missile can reach the speed of over Mach 4. The Meteor has a throttable ducted rocket engine, which is basically a combination of the ramjet and solid-fueled rocket engine. It has a length of 3.7 meters and a diameter of 178 millimeters. The weight of the missile is 190 kg. The Meteor is maintenance-free for a lifetime. During the cruise phase, the missile uses an inertial navigation system developed based on the one that was used on Ace Ram. The missile accelerates to Mach 2 in about 2 seconds. Thanks to Meteor's two-way data link, the aircraft can update the target data during the mid-course or change the target if required. It also makes receiving data from other aircraft and the command centers possible. So, the fighter in the radar range of an early warning aircraft can turn around immediately after launching the Meteor to avoid the enemy missile salvo. This data link enables transmitting of missile information such as functional and kinematic status. Thus, the pilot has the opportunity for realizing if there is a problem with the first Meteor and launching another missile. During the flight, 
the two-way data link sends information about not only the missile's target, but also other possible targets. This way, the pilot can better evaluate the tactical situation. The active radar homing seeker of the Meteor was developed based on the active anti-air seeker family of seekers that equipped the Mika and Aster missiles. Yet, it has higher turning rates and new transmitter and processor. This seeker can detect the targets with a radar cross-section of smaller than one square meter. The radar can work in low probability of intercept mode to avoid detection by the passive radar detection system. This feature makes the meteor stealthier and deadlier. A fighter can fire multiple meteors which have the active radar homing seeker against multiple targets. The throttable ducted rocket engine is the main reason that makes the Meteor the best in its class. It provides the missile with thrust and mid-course acceleration to target intercept. The rocket and ramjet engines lose the thrust significantly when their fuel amount is low. On the other hand, the throttable ducted rocket engine uses its supersonic exhaust to further compress air collected by ram effect during the flight. This provides an additional working mass and highly effective thrust for any given amount of fuel. After a maneuver, the Meteor can accelerate and or gain altitude again. Thus, by preserving its energy, the missile gains a higher hit rate. The conventional rocket engine does not have such a future. MBDA claims that thanks to its throttable ducted rocket engine, the Meteor has three to six times the kinetic performance of current air-to-air -air missiles of its type. A ramjet requires forward motion to feed air into the engine. But with its throttable ducted rocket engine, the Meteor works even at zero forward speed. Yes, thanks to its hybrid rocket ramjet engine, the Meteor can reach a speed of over Mach 4. But in a typical scenario, the missile would cruise with the speed of between Mach 1.5 and Mach 2 to use its fuel efficiently. To reach long distance, the Meteor has a design which ensures as little drag as possible. It has only small control surfaces at the end. Because of this design preference, the Meteor has to roll like an aircraft first before it bangs to turn. The Meteor can engage various types of targets such as the aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, and cruise missiles. So, why was it necessary to develop a highly capable air-to-air -air missile like the Meteor? Obviously, attacking a target from a long distance brings an advantage. However, there is more. If we take a look at the past, we can see that the advantages that each new generation of jet fighters brings comes with higher costs. For this reason, the number of aircraft produced has decreased with each generation. However, the expanse of the airspace of the countries has remained unchanged. In summary, modern combat aircraft have to control wider airspace than the previous generation models. Naturally, longer range air-to-air -air missiles are needed to accomplish this task. There is a huge leap in terms of dogfighting capabilities between the Eastern Bloc's previous generation and fourth generation fighters. This makes it more preferable for Western pilots to engage at a long distance. For the Western Air Forces, training a skillful pilot costs more than the aircraft itself, so they do not want to take unnecessary risks. The Meteor has a potential which makes the dogfight an unnecessary risk in many cases. With its long range, the Meteor has the ability to deter many countries from going to war. Clearly, no realistic pilot would want to take the risk of being hit before he can reach the range that allows the fight back. The Jazz 39 Gripen has achieved great success in the international market as a combat aircraft that offers high combat capability with a relatively low cost. But we have to admit that it is not in the same league as the Eurofighter Typhoon or Rafale. However, the Jazz 39 can be at least as effective as them in the long-range air combat using the Meteor missiles. Thus, the Swedish Air Force can continue to rely on its Gripens until the 6th generation fighters become operational. 
Also, thanks to the Meteor, the Jazz 39 can maintain its title as one of the strongest competitors in the market. During the first Cold War, the standoff missiles were huge and only big bombers could carry them. So only a few countries could have this type of weapon system. Today, a fighter-sized aircraft can carry the missiles, which have a range of over 500 kilometers. Currently, many countries have a standoff missile arsenal. For this reason, the long-range interception capability is becoming more crucial. The Meteor is perfect for this job. Thanks to its superior features, the Meteor has gained global interest in a short time. Many Eurofighter Typhoon, Rafael, and Gripen users have either ordered it or announced that they intend to order it. So, a new profitable market has opened for the European partners of the missile. The Meteor has a suitable size to be carried by the F-35's internal weapon bay. The integration of the missile to this aircraft is still ongoing. After the completion of these studies, it would not be a surprise that many F-35 users may also prefer the Meteor. The Meteor is also on the agenda of some countries that are working on the indigenous new generation combat aircraft programs. For example, in 2018, South Korea's Arms Acquisition Agency unveiled the preliminary design of the KFX fighter. During the presentation, it was notable that the aircraft was carrying the Meteor. The Meteor also offers its European partners other opportunities in the market. For example, on July 17, 2014, MBDA UK agreed to research a Meteor-dried missile with Japan jointly. This program, called Joint New Air-to-Air -Air Missile, combines the active electronically scanned array seeker of the Japanese AAM-4B missile with the Meteor. Because the AAM-4B is too large to be carried in F-35's internal weapon bay, the Japan Air South Defense Force needs this new missile. According to our analysis, the Meteor will change the game. It is not just a prophecy to say that it will pave the way for many new long-range air-to-air missile development programs all around the world. And these new missiles will be different from the current ones. They will have the throttable ducted rocket engine. In this regard, the Meteor is a new milestone of the air-to-air -air missiles evolution. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you liked our video. To be notified of our new videos, please click the bell button.